Okay, this is not your regularly scheduled college basketball content, but this is a video I've been wanting to make, and I've never made it before, and we're going to do it now. There is an NCAA hockey tournament. You probably didn't even know that there was such a thing as college hockey. Um, but there is, and there is a tournament. It's 16 teams. Now, of these six, I want you to look at these 16 teams. How many do you know? I'm sure you know, Min you know Michigan, uh, you know Minnesota, maybe you know UMass, Western Michigan, Notre Dame, you should all know Notre Dame, Harvard. But some of these other teams, you probably have no idea who they are. Um, now, I am going to briefly explain how college hockey works. So college hockey works just like any other college sport, college basketball, college football, college baseball, college whatever. And like every one of those, there are teams that are good and teams that are not so good. But with hockey, it's a little bit different. So in, in football, obviously most of your good teams are from the south. Um, you, most of your good teams, but there are still good teams in the north and in the west. And with college hockey, most of your talent is coming from either Minnesota, Michigan, or the Northeast. Like where some of these teams are from, you've got you've got Michigan, Minnesota, uh, Minnesota, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Massachusetts, Denver. Denver's a little bit of an outlier. North Dakota, they've always got. But from your cold states, those teams usually dominate the talent pool, and there aren't very many. D1 teams in hockey. There are less D1 teams. Um, basically, there's like there's so many D1 teams in Minnesota, but like most of your schools that you've heard of that are great at everything else, they're not D1. Like, like the, there are SEC hockey teams, but they're not D1. I think they're D2. Um, but Alaska Anchorage is D1 for hockey. Does, does that make sense? I, I hope I'm making enough sense. But I think there's seven D1 conferences, and just like March Madness, the winners of those seven conferences get in. And then I think there's, I think there's nine at large bids. I may be wrong about that. Um, I maybe should have done more uh, more research, but I think that's how it works. But this is what your bracket's gonna look like: sixteen teams. They rank the top four. Top four right now are Michigan, Minnesota State, Western Michigan, and Denver. They control the top four spots, and then they're put into regions. So the first round will be played on Thursday and Friday. Minnesota State's region and uh, and Denver's region, these, these four games will be on Thursday. Michigan and Western Michigan will play on Friday. Second round will be Saturday and Sunday. The semifinals, or the Frozen Four, will be on... Doesn't have a date for those. Anyway, and the championship, uh, the Final Four and championship are held in Boston. So, without further ado, now, I am by no means a college hockey expert. I keep up with it a little bit. Like, I know who's good and who's not, but... We'll have to see. Let's just let's just jump into some picks, shall we? First, we have Michigan facing AIC. That's American International University. I don't know where that is. And I know Michigan has projected number one NHL draft pick, Owen Powers. And they're the number one team. They won the Big Ten tournament. They upset Minnesota. Or they beat, not upset. They beat Minnesota in the Big Ten championship. So... They're 29 and 9 and 1. Now, the one that's not a tie, that's an OT loss. If you lose in overtime, you get a point. Basically, the way the standings work, you get a point. You get two points for a win, one point for a loss in overtime or in the shootout. But in the tournament, a loss is a loss. So, Michigan 29, 9 and 1. American International 22, 12 and 3. Decent team. But I'm going to take Michigan by a score of, let's say, I'll say 4 0. Michigan. All right, next we have Quinnipiac at 31-6-3 against St. Cloud State at 18-14-4. Now, I know St. Cloud State 
plays in the best conference. I think it's like the the something. I forget what it's called, but I know that they are in the same conference as Minnesota Duluth, Denver, North Dakota. I think Western Michigan's also in that conference too. Um, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But I know that Saint Cloud. I know that that's the best conference, and Saint Cloud State was nuts last year. I think they made it to the national title game and lost to to UMass. I know UMass won it last year. Quinnipiac's got a really good record, but I like the strong team St. Cloud State's been playing all year. I think I know that they're a really good team. I'm going to say they win a close one. Let's say 2-1 to one. St. Cloud State. Now, here's the thing. I think that just the sport of hockey generates a lot more potential for upsets than other sports. And I'll say that because here's the thing. You're only scoring... At Matt, there are only the average goals for a hockey game is like five, three to two, two to two to one, four to three if you're lucky. So there's not very many chances to score. And the less chances there are to score, the less chance the better team has to pull ahead. Does that make sense? That makes sense. So I feel like at the sport of hockey, you get a lot of upsets. But I don't know. It, that's just what I'm talking about. All right, next we have Denver supporting a record of 27 and 9 against UMass Lowell supporting a record of 21 10 and 3. Huh. Now, I don't know. I guess I'll just take the favorite. I'll take Denver. Like I said, a lot of these teams I know nothing about. Those would be two. Now, these two teams I know are really good. Michigan Tech. Yeah, you didn't even know there was a Michigan Tech. There is. They're 21, 12, and 3. And Minnesota Duluth. Minnesota Duluth won, I think, two or three national titles in a row. That's how good Minnesota Duluth is. They're kind of on a down year. Um, but I know that they are usually the best. Usually one of the best, Minnesota Duluth. Um, but Michigan Tech supporting a very good team this year, too. Um, I gotta take Michigan Tech. They got a really good team. I know I've been looking at some rankings. They've been in the top ten for a little bit. I know they've got a solid squad. Michigan Tech, I say wins. Uh, three to two. Oh, and Denver. Let's say Denver wins five to two. All right, Minnesota State. Uh, who supports a record of 35 and 5 against Harvard, supporting a record of 21, 10, and 3. Now, Minnesota State was ranked number one for, I think, the majority of the season. The majority of the season, Minnesota State was ranked number one. Michigan winning the Big Ten, they ups they jumped them for the number one spot. But Minnesota State has got some absolute dogs. They've got a squad and a half. Uh, it would be a massive upset if Harvard were to win that game. Um, Minnesota State, big. Big Minnesota State. They're, they're good. They've got a really good team. Uh, and next we have North Dakota and Notre Dame. Both these squads are usually pretty good in hockey. North Dakota State usually better than Notre Dame. Uh, North Dakota is 24-13-1. Notre Dame 27-11. I don't know. This is a coin flip game for me. Uh, man, I have no idea. I have no idea who I want to go with here. Uh, I'll take Notre Dame. That's that's a coin. Actually, I'm going to say Notre Dame wins this one. Hold on. I'm trying to get these, these even. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I gotta say Notre Dame wins. One to nothing. I don't know. I've heard my friend is a Notre Dame fan. And he follows Notre Dame hockey. And he told me that their goalie, that Notre Dame's goalie, is like he's he said he's like a new breed, like he's really good, so. I don't know about that game. Notre Dame. 
Next, I'm taking Western Michigan. I know that they're really good. I've been following them a little bit. I know they ups. I think they played Michigan like twice. I think they upset them both times. I mean, they've got a really good squad, Western Michigan. So, easy win for them over Northeastern. Uh, Western Michigan, by the way, is 25 and 11. Northeastern 25 and 12, but Western Michigan plays in a way better conference. I'm going to say they win. Three to two. Then, now this was the hardest one for me to pick. Minnesota and UMass. Now, Minnesota, I feel like, is the better team. But UMass won the national title last year. They've got to still have some good players on that team. I don't know. I've seen Minnesota play. I watched a few of their games. And they're really good. Um, I saw them play Wisconsin, and they mauled Wisconsin. It was, it was bad how much they beat Wisconsin by... Um, speaking of upsets, I know Wisconsin was one of the top seeds last year, and they lost to a team I wish made the tournament because they're my favorite college hockey team, Bemidji State. I know someone that went to Bemidji State. So I love Bemidji State. They're in Minnesota. I'm, I'm disappointed they didn't make it. If, I, if, if Bemidji State was in here, I'd have them winning it all. Uh, but I'm going to take Minnesota by a score of 2-0 to zero to get it done with goaltending. All right. To move to the semifinals, I'm definitely going to take Michigan. They are ranked number one for a reason. Owen Powers is is a dog. He will probably go number one in the NHL draft. Um, I'm going to say it's a close game because St. Cloud State's got some really good players. I'm going to say that Michigan wins 4-3. to three. Michigan Tech and Denver. I'm not sure how good Denver is. Are they really good? I don't know. i got to have an upset in here. Tech, Michigan Tech to the Frozen Four by a score of five to four. Michigan Tech. All right, Minnesota State and Notre Dame. I'm definitely taking Minnesota State. Easy, easy. They, I think, are the best team. I think they're a little bit better than Michigan. I know Michigan's really good, but I think Minnesota State's a little bit more well-rounded. Minnesota State. By a score of two to nothing. Actually, not two to nothing. Two to two to one. I think Notre Dame gets a goal in there. All right, next we got Minnesota and Western Michigan. Ooh, man. I know Western Michigan's really good. I know they're really good, but I don't know. I feel like Minnesota's gonna turn up come tournament time. They're another li Dude, I don't know. Minnesota's they're really good in hockey. Oh man. They've got really similar records. I, I'm liking Minnesota. I'm liking Minnesota in this one. Give me Minnesota to make the, the Frozen Four. Okay. Here, let's say they win. I'm going to say they win. Uh, let's go with five to nothing. I think they stomp them. Minnesota's got some dogs when it comes to hockey. Uh, all right. The Frozen Four. We've got Michigan, Michigan Tech, Minnesota, and Minnesota State. Now, oof, who do we want here? I think Michigan Tech's run comes to an end. Owen Powers, new breed. Give me Michigan. And then Minnesota State and Minnesota. I think Minnesota State's better. I'm sorry, they're just better. I I mean they're they're ridiculous. They've got a ridiculously good squad, Minnesota State. Uh, the scores, let's go with three to nothing. And Minnesota State will win four to two. Alright, I know I picked the top two seeds. I'm sorry I didn't have very many upsets. Um, but ooh, I don't know. These teams got some dogs, man. I'm gonna actually, I'm actually gonna flip Minnesota State around real quick. Hold on. I don't know. This is, this is, this is gonna be tough. I don't know, man. I really don't know. See, it, if you ask someone which one of these teams they think is better, you're gonna, you're probably gonna get a 50-50 split. On who's better between Minnesota State and Michigan? Oh, 
I'm taking Minnesota State. I mean, they've been number one all year. I know Michigan just got that number one spot because they won the Big Ten. But overall, I think I think Minnesota State is the better team. Uh, let's go with Minnesota State in the final. Let's go with Minnesota State 3-2 to two over Michigan. Give me a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got. I got. I got to give Minnesota State their hardware. Give me a second. Give me a second here. Hold on. I know this is getting drawn out way too long. I'm sorry. I think Minnesota State, they made the Frozen Four last year, too. They made it last year. And I think that they're they're going to be disappointed that they lost. And they're coming back with a vengeance. Maver Minnesota State and Mavericks are my Frozen Four pick. Um, yeah. I If you are a diehard college hockey fan, like if this is something that you follow a lot, Hey, you hate my bracket, you think it's bad, or I said something wrong in the middle of that video. Let me know in the comments. Um, I'm sorry if I if I said some things that were inaccurate. Um, so if you know more about college hockey than I do, comment section. But those are my picks. Minnesota State has got my pick. Hopefully this is better than my NCAA, than my March Madness bracket. Um, actually, it's not that bad. I think I won on my final four out. Still got UCLA, Texas Tech, and Arizona. But yeah. See you guys.